Hey guys, it's the Solar Coffee, and today in so the Monster Legends Leaks so video of all the leaked events for this week, as well as the main event for next week. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, we're going to look at the main event for next week, and then we'll go ahead and get into this week's event. So the main event for next week is a brand new maze, and that is where we're going to get this monster right here. It also has a brand new season. So season 6 is starting on the same day the event starts on next Friday. So definitely log on on next Friday, there will be a bunch of new events, a new era saga, and then yeah, just a bunch of new monsters to get for completely free. So definitely make sure to log in then. And of course, you can also get this amazing looking pink monkey monster next Friday inside of the maze. So yeah, that is definitely something to look forward to as well, because it is a pretty cool design in my opinion. So now let's go and move into this week's events. Alright, so we're just going to skip Monday because that is already over. But Tuesday and Wednesday are both exactly the same. They both have the Equipment Challenge, the Proka and Helmet Hoyt Paths, and then the Coriax Kenshin Breeding. So the Equipment Challenge will go all the way until Thursday, but the Paths will end on Wednesday, and then the Breeding will go until Thursday as well. So the Equipment Challenge can be good. You can get a brand new Ancestral Relic out of it, or Ancient Relic, or whatever they're called. But they are really, really powerful. They are, of course, the newest and highest rarity relics. And yeah, they are very, very powerful, but they are also pretty hard to get. The challenges cost like almost a thousand gems to actually complete. So unless you have like a thousand gems, don't really bother with it. Don't waste your gems trying to get it when you can't really get it. So just keep that in mind before doing the equipment challenge. And then the Proka and Helmet Hoi Paths are okay if you need them for books. They're not really very good monsters, but if you need them for books, they are worth getting. And then the Quarry Extension Breeding is okay if you need him for a book as well. Definitely try to get him, since of course this event is free to play and it is very easy to do because it is a breeding event. So yeah, just go ahead and either try to get him or try to get any of the other monsters in the breeding event. And then on Friday, the brand new Bounty Hunt starts as well as a new Oni Kappa Breeding for a brand new Mythic. Oni Kappa is pretty decent, so it is definitely worth getting. And same with the Bounty Hunt monster, actually. You can get a bunch of monsters for free out of the Bounty Hunt. Bounty Hunts are actually the best ways to get monsters and to get good monsters. So yeah, definitely make sure to do the Bounty Hunt and the Oni Kappa breeding because those are both pretty great. And then on Saturday, the brand new Valkyrie's Progressive starts, so definitely make sure to do that. That will go only until Sunday, so you won't have very much time to do it, but you can still go and get some of it done. Just don't spend gems on it to complete it, it's not really worth it. And then, of course, the Bounty Hunt and Oni Kappa Breeding will go all the way until next Thursday, so you have plenty of time to do those. Get as many free Mythics as possible out of them, and then you should be good to go. And yeah, that is what we made for this video. Let me know down in the comments what events you guys are most excited for. I would definitely focus on the Paths to the Breeding Events, and then the Bounty Hunt. And then the Tales Challenge is technically still going on until Friday, so make sure to do that as well. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know down in the comments what events you guys are going to be doing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.